Hello to all English College families. I hope that you and your families are all safe and well. As we approach the end of our first week of online learning, I just wanted to take this opportunity to share some of the feedback and thoughts of our experiences so far. First of all, a huge thanks to all of my staff here, both the support and the teachers for ensuring the week uh, ran so smoothly. Um, teachers in particular worked incredibly hard to ensure that your children continue to enjoy the same kind of high quality, positive, challenging learning experience online as they do in the classroom. So a big well done and a huge thanks to all of our teachers for making that happen. A big thanks to you too as parents. I'm sure you've had a few challenges over the last few days, uh, but without your support, your commitments, uh, and probably most importantly, your positive attitudes, the last week wouldn't have been the resounding success that it's been. Thanks also for ensuring your children have been engaged in the process. Uh, we had over 95% engagement throughout the week, uh, which is pretty remarkable. So thank you for ensuring that your children have been online and engaged in the process. You may have received a call from a member of the leadership team over the last few days. Uh, we'll be continuing to call parents over the next week to ensure that we listen to any feedback that you have about the online learning and to ensure that as a leadership team and as a school, uh, we adapt and we tweak so that the experience your children's receiving continues to just get more and more positive. So your feedback is always welcome. A couple of threads that are coming through, uh, our expectations of your children, uh, I think we need to look at that. Some children are getting a little bit stressed by the amount of work that they're being expected to produce, so that's something that we'll be monitoring carefully. Uh, we'll also be looking at how we ver vary the learning platforms that we're using so the children get a, a range of learning activities and a range of experiences. Uh, they also get opportunities to see the teacher, um, to, to see their, their class, uh, so that there's some kind of face-to-face uh, -face engagement rather than everything being totally remote. Um, and we are conscious that it's not just about their academic well-being, it's also about their personal and social. So keeping that connection with the teacher through visual um, platforms and through visual platforms, keeping connections with their classmates is really important. Heads of school will be sharing with you their vlogs over the next 24 hours and they'll give you a little bit uh, more detail about how we'll be tweaking with our online learning as we move into week two. A number of parents with children in exam year groups will obviously have been concerned and following news out of UK. Um, we are keeping parents up to date of exams, uh, universities and all of the implications of the announcement of the, that have been made uh, through the website and through D6. Uh, and also the senior school will be producing an assembly, an online assembly for senior students tomorrow just so they explain where we are in terms of universities, A-level grades, GCSE grades and the next steps, which at the moment are a little bit cloudy, but as always, we will make sure that we keep parents and students updated. Thank you again for all of your support over the last week. Please do, at any time, feel that you can share feedback with us so that we can continue to improve what we do at the school. The website is there with lots and lots of resources, so if you haven't used it yet, please do so. Both academic resources, but also resources to ensure that your students' social, emotional and well-being needs are met, which, when they're sat in front of a screen for long periods of time, are really important. So please do make sure that you use the wealth of resources on the website, uh, and at any time, if you have any questions or concerns, please do contact the relevant person at the school. Thanks for listening. We look forward to going into week two. We look forward to continuing to receive your feedback, your support, uh, and as always, you know, we love to hear from you. In the meantime, please everybody keep safe and keep well.